Now we are going to discuss about the NIH swab, which is a very short topic, which may be asked in the university exams as short notes as well. So first question arises that what is our NIH swab and why do we need this? So NIH swab is nothing but just a simple swab, which was developed in the National Institute of Health of the USA, and hence it was given the name of NIH swab. This is a this is such a fancy name which was given based on the site of origin of this swab. So uh, let's discuss why do we need this. So for going in detail of that, we should know uh, in detail about the intravenous vermicularis, about the nature of the intravenous vermicularis. So if you have seen my lecture on the nematodes, you must know that uh, in uh, there I had described the uh, nematodes and classified the nematodes based on the. Uh, I mean, based on their habitat, okay, preferred habitat. So that there were two classification. One group was going to the small intestine, and the second group was going to the large intestine. So in the large intestine, there were two parasites. One of them was the enterobius vermicularis. So I had told there that the enterobius vermicularis chooses to live in this large intestine, okay. But one important point about the enterobius vermicularis is that enterobius vermicularis or the pin worm uh, does not lay eggs in the large intestine. So it lays eggs by migrating to uh, migrating throughout the large gut. It reaches to the anal region and then at the perianal region it lays its eggs. That also in the night time. Okay, so it is very uh, you know unique type of parasite which is laying eggs in the perianal region and that also preferably only in the night time. So you have seen uh, in your OPDs uh, about a certain mothers who come with their children. Uh, uh, with the complaint that the child uh, that the child become very you know uh, irritable and very restless during the night time during sleep and sometimes mother also complain that they have seen the pin worm at the perianal region so then you have to diagnose the case of the nis but you cannot diagnose just by uh, taking the history now you have to confirm it with uh, with some documents also so uh, for that uh, we need to uh, see the uh, see the you know eggs of the intervious vermicularis in the lab so that we can confirm that it was intervious vermicularis only so for the uh, diagnosis uh, we needed something that can collect the eggs from that perianal region of that child so uh, the scientist come with this came with this nih swab this swab, swab was particularly developed to collect the specimen uh, from the perianal region they, that specimen is nothing but just a swab from the perianal region of the children okay so that we can collect the specimen from the perianal region and diagnose uh, by direct microscopy in the labs uh, of the uh, infection okay of the parasitic infection so what is the construction how is this NIH swab made so this fancy swab uh, is made with a glass rod see here this is the glass rod this is the glass rod okay and then which uh, to which our cellophane tape remains attached so this is our cellophane tape which is attached to the glass rod and then it is attached by a rubber band so this is our rubber band which is helping in uh, helping to keep it in closed chamber so this was the construction of this fancy NIH swab now how did we use this or how do we use this so this is used by a simple technique now just the cellophane part of the glass rod is rolled over the perianal skin and the sample is collected we need just we need to just collect the swab now so just rolling over the perianal skin will collect this specimen so see i have written here also that this is because the interobius vermiculus lays eggs in the perianal skin not in the rectum so that's why we need to take this specimen from the perianal region Okay, so we take, but how many numbers of specimen do we take? So we take total four to six NIS swabs uh, from the perianal region, and that is preferably collected in the late evening after several hours of sleep of the patient, so that the uh, intervious vermiculus has traveled up to that uh, anal region, anal canal, and has laid the eggs in the perianal region. Okay, because we know that it uh, lays the eggs only in the night time, so this will. Uh, if we if you'll be collecting this specimen in the night after several hours of uh, sleep then we will be uh, th then there will be more chances of detection of the eggs of that parasite or that helminth so that was all about the nas swab i think this is very uh, this is a very simple topic and just writing this much will be enough for you 
to get a good marks that's all for the nis fair